Hello everyone out there. Thanks for tuning in to the Rondo Show Podcast. Um, I wanted to start this episode off with the old intro, so I'm going to play that joint right now. Just, just for all time's sake. Hello everyone out there, welcome to the Rondo Show. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to start this episode off playing the old Rondo Show podcast intro. Um, I just missed hearing it, I heard it in a minute, so I'm going to play that. Yo, 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 be back. Uh, episode one, season three. As you can see, I finally have a table. <laughs> As you can see, I finally have a laptop, a microphone, fucking some sort of situation that allows some sort of forward planning in life you need to be able to plan ahead but that is sometimes a luxury due to circumstances and situations everybody's born in a situation or a circumstance and I think that uh, yeah I only have much more to say to that but I'm just blessed, grateful, thankful um Yeah, and it was like I'm just using it to do just that, like plan out my future, plan out my vision, plan out everything I'm trying to do. So I'm not really gonna uh, dwell too much on the fact that it's happening. I'm gonna just get to the point. You know what I mean? Start using it to do what I'm trying to do. So, um, I guess I can play some music. I don't even know what music to play though. Sorry again, false alarm again. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll happen right now. Nah, it is not happening. So, <laughs> I will make sure that it happens regardless. listening. Thank you. Spotify, Apple Music, Spreaker. I appreciate you. Uh, Honestly, it's probably music I'm really playing right now, know what I mean? When I get into the editing zone, after the recording part, I always end up wanting to put some type of music or some type of sounds behind something. So, I'm sure that's going to be there. I don't really got to worry about that.
to see what's, t what's trending on Twitter. Diddy said, we're done letting corporations manipulate our culture into believing incremental progress is acceptable action. If you love us, pay us. Here's my letter to corporate America. Straight up. I'm about to read this nigga's letter. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. Desmond Tutu. The same feet these companies use to stand with us in solidarity are the same feet they use to stand on our necks. When confronted by the leaders of several black-owned media companies, General Motors listed my network Revolt as an example of black-owned media it supports. While Revolt does review advertising revenue from GM, our relationship is not an example of success. Hmm. Instead, Revolt just like our black owned media company fights for crumbs while GM makes billions of dollars every year from black community from the black community. <laughs> it's the same story though. I'm not laughing at this happening to somebody. I'm laughing at I'm laughing at the 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 just the the gangster and Diddy to like say some shit like that. Yeah, to me it's long overdue. It's been long overdue. It's taking too long for niggas to really tell the fucking truth. And so I watch celebrities all day just kind of sit and talk around shit, try to stay safe and try to practice solidarity with somebody who will rape and, and, and rob you. It's so crazy, but that's what we do. So we got to start exposing GM's historic refusal to fairly invest in black owned media is not an assassination of character it's exposing the way GM and many other advertisers have always treated us as facts no longer can corporate America manipulate our community into believing that incremental progress is acceptable action is acceptable action corporations like GM have exploited our culture undermined our power and excluded black entrepreneurs from participating in the value created by black consumers in 2019 brands spent two hundred and thirty nine billion on advertising. Less than one percent of that was invested in black owned media companies. God damn it. See that's the shit that make me mad. That's the shit that make me mad when I read it. And that's why I don't be on my phone motherfucking phone. That's why I don't be fucking with social media like that. Shit get out of hand. Start learning shit that you don't really want to know. It's like me, I already know how fucked up it is. I don't need to know the exact how fucked up. It's like, especially like if it's money and they not giving it to niggas. I don't want to know about how much they not giving to niggas. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, I understand that at some point you're going to have to know that. I'm just being ignorant at this moment. In this, in this moment, just being emotional. Reacting emotionally to like you gonna need to know the number in order to get it. What you you know your value. You don't necessarily need the number in the moment to start working forward or pursuing it, but you don't need to know the number. But I'm just saying, like God damn, that shit is depressing. Cause you think about how many motherfuckers could have feed fed their families. How many motherfuckers would be dead or locked up if that money had to been in the hands of the right people. 
I'm talking about you talking about motherfuckers who ain't really do shit with the shit that's making people buy the shit, making the most off the shit. That's crazy. Less than one percent, my nigga. That's wild as shit, bro. <laughs> Out of roughly three billion General Motors spent on advertising, we estimate only zero. I mean, only ten million was invested. <laughs> Look, I'm already back on the negative shit. Only ten million was invested. In black owned media, only 10 million out of 3 billion. God damn. Hold on, yeah, that, that, that ain't, I wasn't being negative. I was, I was giving some extra shit. But, alright, like the rest of corporate America, General Motors is telling us to sit down, shut up, and be happy with what we get. Oh, yeah, as usual. Business as usual. It's disrespectful that black owned media companies only represent 1% out of the total advertising market. It's disrespectful that distributors. Yo, yo, it's, it's, he's so right, though. Can you do that? And then how do you do that as a white person without being blatantly racist? <laughs> it's like... <sighs> niggas ask for shit, everybody get behind them and we all stand up and we all... You know what I mean? Click. I'm with it. We all retweet it. We all push forward I guess but like how do you go about enforcing and dis and delegating between who is in the black community and who isn't that is really weird I don't know how to just how to go about that if anybody has an idea out there I'm sure you gonna tell me and I would hope that you could tell me but I feel like there is certain people that are of the people and when I say the people, I mean those same people that that are actually doing something for black people. And not just themselves. And on top of that, I believe that there are people that are black in race that don't have the knowledge that they need to even do for themselves properly so they need those other people to fight for them in a sense but when you go about black community black community it's like anybody could just say I'm a part of that. I, I don't know how you decide who's who. Because there's some black people in race that ain't a part of the black community. And there's some black people in the black, quote unquote, whatever the black community, like I'm using the term loosely, that ain't really with, that ain't black. This <laughs> is, I, I just. I hope it works, as I always do, and I'm, I hope I can do something to make it go, but I'm, I'm totally with it 100%, this is, this is fire, this is like my type of shit, I'm telling you, demand what you need, don't, don't wait for it, take it, Freddie Gibbs said, slavery movies every year, yeah, the master going, he going to remind us. If we don't take it, we don't deserve it back. Sixteen years and ran up, the queen, kings of the earth is back. Supreme mathematics, someone on the right course took the sword and not white Jesus off of that white horse. My nigga, I'm on the right course. Took the sword and not white Jesus off of that white horse. Fuck, Spike, he mostly showed Malcolm on coke and white horse. Did it all to get the fun in front of them white boys. Okay, the white horse. I was doing it. It's never ever been did a white boy. Top five rapper alive, and that's on white lord. Took the sword and not white Jesus off of that white horse. Damn, somebody told me. Hit me next to that shit. <laughs> nah, bro, like, that shit is just. You gotta make sure, man. You just gotta make sure, man. Nah, I mean, I think everybody doing their best to avoid a race war and avoid uh, drama and avoid violence. And I think that's good. But I don't know how else the shit going to change. 
I think that's going to be the first thing. Because that's how this all started, and it's kind of fucked up for me to think that. I mean, I don't necessarily think everybody has to be a part of that. But I'm saying, if they are killing you, and it's legally, I mean, well, not illegal, and then legally enslaving you at the same time, damn near at the same rate that they're killing you, and it's a high, very alarming rate. What do you do? Do you... Is it... Is it now wise? Like, what do you... Like, what do you... I don't... Like, what do you do? And that's just... You know what I mean? That's just a, a situation I feel like America has yet to empathize with 100% and honestly and genuinely. They do this little play, this little game, that, you know, these little... Pre, you know? This, this, this little fake shit. You know what I mean? It's political... Uh, what's it called? Pandering. It's some bullshit. Some patronism. Patriot. Patri yeah, patronism. Whatever the fuck. Don't patronize me. Yeah, that. It's that shit. It's in orange. And they had real demands and they gave them Cheetos and half of them, most of them, was fine with the damn Cheetos. And the, the bitch had to tell them, y'all forgot what the fuck we was fighting for. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. I mean, Shit just, shit, shit, shit goes how it goes. It's like, shit goes in cycles, you know what I mean? So I just wait. I always just take my time. That's why I don't rush this podcast. I just take my time and do shit when I'm supposed to, you know what I mean? And over time, you know, it'll be what it's supposed to be. And I think that's how it is with, with us as a people. I feel like I'm a part of a certain level of black people that want us to elevate, but I also know that I have ignorance, I'm full of ignorance, I'm so young, and at the same time, I'm so knowledgeable, but I also have so much bullshit in my head, and I also have so much emptiness in my head that need to be filled with knowledge. So, at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to act like I'm a part of the, the most elevated part of us, like the most... The, the group of us that is actually living that 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 high level I don't know if it's spirituality I don't see I don't even know where to begin what to call it because it's so unknown to me you know what I mean that's something that I strive for that I aspire to to come in contact with to run across to be a part of because that's the real thing you know what I mean that's the real thing but at the same time I feel like there is a group, and for the for the for the fence, for the same reason that I don't know about them, or, or I'm ignorant, it's the same reason that I feel like people choose to stay on this side because they want to be relatable. They want to stay relatable. They don't want to lose that voice that they have, or that platform, or that 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 this or that whatever it is they have that that keeps them in the know, that keeps them popular. Nobody wants to be forgotten. Nobody wants to be banned or barred or put on a, 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 a list or put, put, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be marked on the, on the you know, the, the, the bad list, you know? And it's like, it's this thing, man, that I feel like, um, it's gonna take some work and some time and I feel like if we are relaxed and realize that we are not our bodies that we are infinite energy flowing eternally going up and down in and out round and round through I think it would take a lot of the steam and the pressure off a lot of these decisions we'd be trying to make day to day Cause nothing really matters. We keep making all of this shit go together, but it really doesn't. It's really us and the power we have. If we put that power on us, on ourselves, and, and, and involving as as, a, as an individual and in our families, and involving as a unit and as a, as a as a as a as a neighbor, involving as a community, and as a community, evolving as a nation, and as a nation evolving as a planet that's what you 
that's the best you could do. But it starts with you. So you can't really, it ain't really that much work on the table every day, is what I'm saying. Some of us got a lot of work to do with ourselves, but even that, you got to piece it out. You only got one day, so at a time, so you might as well just pay, just pay, pace it out. Work on one part of the time, just get, you know what I mean? That's how I look at everything, bro. And I feel like Diddy is a dude who's evolved. You know what I mean? So I feel like he's so evolved. He's so, uh, what's he called him? Uh, he's so, uh, Kanye said he got damn. He was talking about Jay Z, basically saying a lot of his dreams have come true. He's seen, he's been, he's seen success a lot. He's, 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 he's. So he's, he's in a space where he probably has a lot of the knowledge and a lot of the, the, the ins and outs and the, the know, the know how to go about something like that. You know what I mean? And that's important. And, and like, like I said, it takes time. You know what I mean? As black people, we start out, at least not when I say black people, I'm talking about me and people who relate to my individual story. Right? You know what I mean? Like, straight up. Um, we start out laws. Business. I ain't start out with no mansion, with no money, with no family that is like looking out for each other, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a thing where it's like, you gotta work really hard in the beginning just to get to the to the ground level, the main level, the main flow, just to get to the, to the, to the, to the basement, you know what I mean? And uh, you get to the basement, motherfuckers try to knock you back down. That's what all don't don't and you can't imagine what's happening when niggas is getting upstairs, niggas is in the attic, niggas is on the roof, niggas is saying they on Mars. What that nigga uh what the nigga uh uh, uh Uzi say, pain, I don't remember the pain, I don't know these guys are saying, what up? He said, Me and the moon relay <laughs> <laughs> Nigga think he a part of the moon now, so it's like they gonna, you know, it's gonna be hard for niggas, man. It gets hard. Shit gets hard for niggas, man. I don't think motherfuckers know that shit. I mean, they know. I ain't gonna go there. But when I say I don't think motherfuckers know that shit, I say I, I, that's me being nice. But when, in reality, I don't want to sound too dark. But in reality, I shouldn't care about that. But in reality, motherfuckers don't give a fuck. That's just what it is. Motherfuckers don't care. They are okay as long as they okay. And that's how I'm. That's what I'm saying about this shit. It brings it right back around. So what makes motherfuckers think that it ain't gonna go bad before it go good? If the other side is always, hey, as long as I'm fine, <laughs> it's like we if we moved the same way, we would actually end up being fine, and it wouldn't necessarily be an instantaneous war like everybody think. It might be that, of course, because people are ignorant, people are angry, people are emotional, people are dying. Innocent people are dying and becoming modern day slaves, like physically slaves. So, mental slavery, modern day slavery, physical slavery, it's all the same shit. There's another way it could go down. It could go down in a very, it's going to be tense. It's going to be friction. But it don't have to be the end of everything. You know what I mean? It could definitely be. Two governments coming together to have an understanding, straight up. You know what I mean? But all that that can't start until we get organized. That can't start, like I said, until we we come in contact with those people that are in the know, that are a part of that that real deal movement that is going to put you in contact with the next thing to do and the next thing and so forth and so on. Because you starting out with nothing. You starting out with no no map, no GPS, no signal. You know what I mean? I didn't even mean for this to be like this. I just check, literally check Twitter, saw that shit. Had to go in. 
He says, if you love us, pay us, not a token investment, not a charity check or donation. It's time now. Radical change is the only option. You're either with us or you are on the other side. Wow. And that's on the Revolt website. Letter to Corporate America. I'm with it. Retweet. I flip my wrist at the dead. I'm gonna play a few songs. This is Staircases, Buddy featuring Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. 
universe fly Deep inside my pupils, the aliens camouflage Listen. Another way to shoot you, my mind is a mass destruction I drop a gallon of penny in the big dip of the dive Bitches skinny dipping in my orbit Never seen the Martian gorgeous or some UFO Porsches I live inside the air, plus I wear air shorts So the mic is always near me with this wagon on recording Journey on my forge, you know this guy is the limit I'm running with it, they met it, never a plastic injury I catapult over your telescope and when I finish I grab the fire that's burning from Mars and light it in sync This rap is just a metaphor and I deserve a metaphor Write in another metaphor about a vision I envision Me taking off, astronaut myself, fuck the world I beat that bitch with the Orion stone You see my point? <laughs> Appreciate you for listening out there. If you could go get you a Mad Memories sweatshirt. I think they're like 50, 55. Slug fit real soft on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Real soft on the inside. Real slug, real warm, real cozy, but at the same time, it's not too hot. You know what I mean? It's not too itchy, it's not itchy, it's not sticky. You know what I mean? It's real good. We got the motherfucking, you know what I mean? I'm gonna wash it to see what's up. See if this crack looks, you know what I mean? What, what it is, you know what I mean? This shit looking good though. It's real smooth, looking real durable. This flies as, as I'll get out, you know? Yeah. I appreciate you shopping to today. Hopefully the season can be better than any season I ever had in all of history. Oh yeah, let me address this one thing. If you do want to keep up with every single episode of this podcast, subscribe on YouTube. Um, it's only 70 episodes visible on Apple Music and uh, Spotify. Spotify might have more, but... The distributor for this podcast actually deleted some of my episodes, so it's going to take time for me to re-upload and all of that shit. I'm not really feeling that right now. I don't even know how I feel about these people, you know what I mean, because of that shit. So I'm going to figure it out. Um, but YouTube has every single thing I ever done. That's my YouTube channel. Rondo Show Podcast. Rondo Show Podcast. Number one YouTube channel. Number one podcast. Boom, right there. Get it all, all the memories, all the clips, all that itty bitty pieces. Every little drop of the shit is right there. The audio, the fucking video, everything. Don't never fret. You know what I mean? If you got YouTube, you got us. So, by the thing, by the boom, this shit about to go. Um, so, yeah, man. Appreciate you listening out there. Stay tuned there. Keep your vibes up. Keep your mind up. Fight the power. Love yourself.